Just tell them I love them so much. What I did is my mistake. That was Mariel Wells' message to his four children. Police say Wells shot and killed their mother, Josephine Almond, on Sunday morning at her Jeffersonville apartment. Yeah, I think this crime's unspeakably tragic and the fact that uh, the 13-year-old daughter uh, did see her own mother executed there in that apartment. Family members prayed in the hallway of the Clark County Courthouse before Wells' arraignment. They told us they had nothing to say about what happened, but were clearly extremely upset. We learned in court that Well is not a United States citizen. He said he is from South Sudan. There's a chance he could be deported, but Clark County Prosecutor Jeremy Mull says it doesn't change the way he works the case. In the past, uh, individuals that have been deported uh, often find their way back to the United States. Uh, so absolutely, if you commit a crime here, uh, whatever your status is, uh, I'm going to prosecute that and uh, seek an appropriate sentence. Police say Well shot Almond in the shoulder and head and then made his daughter go with him to Louisville, where he was arrested at the Hall of Justice. Investigators say the gun used in the shooting was found in a trash can. Well showed a lot of emotion in the courtroom, and Mull says that's not surprising. When they're not victimizing somebody, when they're actually subject to the criminal justice system, that they uh, cry, become emotional. And so I think it's uh, settling into him now that uh, he's going to be held accountable for his actions. Muriel Well requested a public defender to represent him today, saying he didn't have any money to pay for his own attorney. He is scheduled to be back in court in February, and the trial is set to begin in June. Reporting live in Clark County, I'm Carolyn Callahan, WLKY News.